I'm Jackie Carson. And you know, after a big Thanksgiving Day football game, the gang and I, we like to come down to Doc's Bar and Grill. Yes, Doc's Bar and Grill is definitely one of the hottest spots on the east side. Last call, Jackie. Give me one more of those amber things. <laughs> they love me here. I'm always the last one to leave. You know, here at Doc's Bar and Grill, we have all the luxuries of home. We have three huge TVs and one big screen TV. There's disco dancing for all of you dance lovers. We've got darts and we've got pinball. We've got a cigarette machine. We've got plenty of chairs and plenty of tables. Yeah, they love me here. You know, right here at Doc's Bar and Grill, we have lots of things to show you. So let's show you a few of the items that make Doc's Bar and Grill the hottest spot in the Northwest. And we have one of the biggest discos on the East Coast and West Coast in the whole world right here at Doc's Bar and Grill. <laughs> Hey, turn the lights out. Thanks. <laughs> what did I tell you? One of the hottest dance floors in America. Oh, jeez, I almost forgot to tell you. The Jackie Carson Show's coming up next. I gotta tell you all about that. Yes, it's that time of year again. Another Jackie Carson Show on Thanksgiving. And we're gonna tell you all about it here. This year's program is sponsored by Doc's Bar and Grill, one of the greatest hotspots in the world, and by Rocco's Used Cars. This year we have, as guests, we have a bunch of knuckleheads, a bunch of wise guys. We also have Omar Santini, who will uh, read your horoscope for you, and also a very special guest, all the way from Philadelphia, ex-heavyweight contender and entrepreneur, Franklin Delano Jones. And, um, well, the rest of the guys, too. They'll all be here. So, my goodness. <laughs> Looks like it's closing time. I better get to the show, and um, we'll see you over there, okay? So, um, join us at the Jackie Carson Show. But I'm on my way. <laughs> Fun right now. <laughs> I'm sure you're 
wondering, uh, where's Jackie? Um, that's a good thing to wonder about. Um, let me tell you about today's guest. Um, we've got um, a bunch of knuckleheads and a bunch of wise guys. And um, <laughs> Omar Santini. Omar Santini, he'll read your horoscope. <laughs> and uh, real soon, because I see him out in the um, green room there, ex-heavyweight contender and uh, entrepreneur Franklin Delano Jones will be here. And um, we also have a, a woman that has more brothers than she knows what to do with. <laughs> and um, also, um, one of our sponsors, Rocco's Used Cars, well, we'll have Mr. Patel, who has the, uh, he's the first owner of a Rocco's Used Car franchise in India. <laughs> and we'll have the uh, rest of the guys, and special this um, show, we'll have JoJo Cam throughout the show. <laughs> so we'll uh, introduce um, the first guest, and again, that's Franklin Delano Jones. Silver Streak. <laughs> okay. Silver Streak. What, what, the, what the heck is Silver Streak? I don't. I don't understand what Silver Streak is. Okay. This is Franklin Delano Jones. He's an ex heavyweight contender, as you will recognize, and um, he's also an entrepreneur. Um, but first, I want to ask you what our audience is probably wondering: um, Were you named after the great president uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt? No, I wouldn't name that to Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I would name that to Mr. Jones. That's my father. I, you know, I'd, I'd name that to Mr. Jones. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm not even really sure who Franklin Delano Roosevelt is. Now, I, I'm sure, I'm sure he was a really, really, really wonderful president. But of course, I don't, I, I did not, I was not acquainted with the man. I was not acquainted with the man. I would, I would definitely, I would definitely name that to my father, who is, who is Mr. Jones. So, would you like to be called Mr. Jones? No, you can call me, you can call me sir. Okay, sir. Uh, you had a boxing career. Yes, start. I did. I had a boxing career. You started. You started really young. Um, I was very young. I was about two years old when I was boxing. I I I, I, I come out of the womb. I come out. You know what I'm saying? I come out of the womb boxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I come out of the womb boxing. This I, is I, interesting. Tell me, tell us more. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I I definitely will tell you more. I'll tell you much we want to hear because that's who I am. My name is Franklin Zeno Jones. Now, you know, I, I, I've been boxing. I've been, I've been boxing in like 1925. I, I was, I, I was boxer back in 1925. Cause I, 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 I been, I, you know, as a boxer, I, I've been hitting the head about 12, about 17, 12, 12, 12 40, about eight times. I've been hit about eight times in the head. Now, of course, you know, boxing is a very difficult sport. You know, cause you know, it's, it's like, but it, you know, it, it, it was like, it, I, 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 it was like, I, it was boxing is very difficult. Sport. It's not. It's not a real easy sport. So you have been doing it for a long time. I've been. I back in 1925. I was a boxer. You know, and I. 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 fight against. I. fight against a lot of. 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 Men. I've been hitting the head about 12, 7, 25, 25, 25, seven, eight times. Eight times. Did you enjoy this? I. I got hit in the head a lot. Mm. <laughs> if you enjoy this, right? Oh, I, I love boxing, but you know what I love most? I love the eggs. I love the eggs. I love the I love the over easy egg because that's a very difficult egg to order. The over easy egg. Now you know because I don't like the, I like don't like I don't like the over easy because all that stuff runs down your face and stuff. So that's why I, when I go into a restaurant, I order an uh, omelet because uh, I get the omelet because I don't like I like the, I don't I like I like the omelets, but I don't like nothing salty like anchovies. I mean, you know, that's like eating an eyebrow. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, so, so, I, I love I love the cup of soup. For, I love I love the I, I love the cup of soup for one. 
I like to eat the package and drink boiling water. It goes crazy in my stomach. Now, you know what? I also love the Oreos cookies. I love the Oreos cookies. The Oreos cookies. You know, you take the Oreos cookies, you separate them, and you, you take, you know, you take the cream out of it, you know, and it's like you don't know which one's the top and which one's the bottom. You say, oh, heck, I got to start all over again with the, with the Oreos cookies. Now, but I love eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so... I do understand that you do like boxing, then, because of that response. Well, you know, boxing, boxing, been, you know, it, 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 it's a tough sport, boxing, because, you know, you get hit in the head a lot. Well, why would you give up something like this? Because it was not, it, you know, you, you, I, I tell you, I've been hit in the head about 18, 12, 7, 8 times. I've been hit in the head. Yeah, that, that really, that really, really affect me really affect me. So is this what caused you to change your career? No, I've got, I've got, I've now, well, you know, now I'm a, I'm a restaurant op entrepreneur. <laughs> you know, and I've been, I've been in, you know, because back in 1942, you know, I was making Grand Beef sandwiches. Of course, right now, these days, they call them hamburger sandwiches. Now, the, the, the Grand the gram Beef sandwiches, you know, those, those were like, you know, in between the bread, and they got the Grand Beef sandwich, and you fry them up, and they, they fry it real good, you know. And and it was like, but we didn't call them no hamburger sandwiches, no like 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 McBurger King or nothing like that. So we it was a it was a, it was like healthy hamburger sandwich because we put the cheddar cheese on it, call it gravy sandwich with cheddar cheese. Because we don't call it no hamburger sandwich now, but that was way back in 1942. <laughs> now I I can tell from the um, amount of food that's in your mind right now that uh, restaurants are really a good venture for you. Would you say that? Um, what was that? Oh, wait, I, I, I thought I saw Rocky Marciano beating me in the Because every time some white boy, every time some white boy brings up Marciano, he just got to just blow him out, you know. Go away, Mr. Rocky Marciano. I said, go away, Mr. Rocky Marciano. So is uh, food... Go away, Mr. Rocky Marciano. Food is part of your life then, right? Then I love food. I love the eggs. I tell you, I love the eggs. I love the over easy egg. That's a very difficult egg to order. Did I tell you that? I'd like you go into a restaurant. You order. Get out of here, Mr. Rocky Marciano. Now, is your restaurant ventures? Do you have? You're like Italian. A I know that. You're done. You're done in my life. I, I, did I tell you I fought Rocky Marciano? I fought Rocky Marciano back in 1925. He had hit me in the head about 12, 7, 8 times. But Rocky Marciano, he's like, he's like, see, dead me. Rock, you come back here, Rocky Marciano. I'll take you Franklin. on. Right. I'm going to take you on, Mr. Rocky Marciano. He's a, he's not a chef. He's like, 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 so it is yours. So it is your adventure. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely my 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 adventure. This my, my I love adventures. You ever see Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones, good he's, movie. He's, good he's movie. a good white boy. He he he. Oh, I love. Which him. do you think is the best? The, the first one or the one of the other two? Temple of um, Temple of what was that called? Temple of um, eggs. Temple of. <laughs> Could have been, could have been. Temple, um, I love eggs. What was the last one? The Temple of Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom. Yeah, but Temple that, 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 nothing, that, has, that, has, that has absolutely nothing about what we're talking about. Because you know, because so that's in the past, right? Oh well, you know, because I, I, you know, I, I was a boxer. I just I tell you, I was a boxer. You one time, one time you did. I well, I, I, I may very, have forgotten this, so but thanks for reminding me. I'd like to know not about what your past is, but what about your future? What about my, my future? future? My future. Well, right now I gotta go to the bathroom, so we're gonna wrap it up because I gotta go. I got when you got to go. You Sounds gotta, good. There's Rocky Marciano out there. He's like he's like waving me up. He's like going like this. I don't know what that means. I think he wants to fight me. He wants to hit me in the head about eight, nine, twelve, seventeen, eight times. So I think that I'm gonna be going off after Rocky Marciano. Get out of here, Rocky Marciano. Okay, so um, we're gonna take a potty break. So let's um, break to. To the party. Okay, thank you. Who's having a party? I love parties. Is Rocky Marciano going to be there? Yeah, I love. I love eggs. I love the over eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that was a much needed potty break. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, we've got some guests uh, coming in a while here. 
Um, I'm wondering where Jackie is, but um, at this point, um, well, Jackie, you were thinking of retiring. Um, let's see if you can beat my ass. Um, okay. Um, I understand why Jackie likes this job because he's got all these toys to play with on the on his desk here. Baseballs, you know. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll pick that up. And um, wait, that's a magic trick or something like that. I don't understand this. Why has this gotten smaller? Let me um, pump it up. That's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> okay. Let me just go on to the guest. I guess this job is a little bit harder than I thought. Our fr next guest here is a uh, bunch of wise guys. A bunch of wise guys. Hello, welcome to the show. I'd like to know, first of all, why are you called a bunch of wise guys? Why are we called a bunch of wise guys? Exactly. You're called a bunch of wise guys. And um, uh, where where do you come from? Where do you come from? Where, where we come, come from? from? Do you have any hobbies? Do we, do we have, have any hobbies? hobbies? Exactly. Do you have hobbies? Well, how about, um, is there a um, special hero in your life? There's a special hero in life. I have a feeling why you're called a bunch of wise guys. Do you know why you're called a bunch of wise guys? Why are we called a bunch of wise guys? Okay. Um, <coughs> I think it's time for you to... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're a bunch of wise guys. We have uh, another guest uh, here, a bunch of knuckleheads. Let's see what they've got for us. Okay, let's try this again. Um, you guys are called a bunch of knuckleheads. Uh, could you tell me why you're called a bunch of knuckleheads? What? Um, you're called a bunch of knuckleheads. Do you know why you're called a bunch of knuckleheads? Where? Okay, let's ask a question about where. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? What? <laughs> Um, another what question? Let me see. Um, what's your favorite hobby? Where? Where? Okay, I think they want to go somewhere. Let's uh, let them go somewhere. Thank you very much. That was really good. That was really good. Um, audience appreciates that. Uh, could we have the? Uh, uh, the um, JoJo cam. Let's try the JoJo cam. What do you do on Thanksgiving? I cook all day. For four days I cook. Okay? Does it all taste good to you? Huh? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, you know what I forgot to cook for you? I forgot to cook you some chili. I just didn't have time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Papa, what do you do for Thanksgiving? What do I do for what? Thanksgiving. Oh, thanks. Just sit down and drink and eat. <laughs> and kiss all the pretty girls. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here, everybody. Ask I didn't him. get lost inside of a bar or anything. Ask him. Uncle Daddy, Uncle Daddy. Yeah, what? I'm sorry. I gotta go. I gotta go do a show. Everybody's waiting for me to do the show. It's Thanksgiving. I've go gotta get do the show. Get him. Get him. Gotta do the show. Don't, no, don't, don't even try to stop me, Jojo. Uncle Jackie, Uncle What, what, I'm, what, what, me, Jojo? What, what, I, I can't, I can't, I've got to go do the show. Uncle Jackie, I know, but I've got to do the show. Everybody's waiting for me to do the show. I can't talk to you now. Uncle Jackie, I can't talk to you. Whoa, what do you do? Jackie, Jackie, ah, 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 here, 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, just have a seat, 
I'm gonna sit over here, okay? Oh, when I was close, when I, 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 I can't tell you, I got, I got locked in this bar with lots of beer and stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Um, okay, well, uh, what, what have you done? I, I don't understand what. You, well, we'll, we'll be, we'll be right back after, after this message. <laughs> Hello, my name is Patel. I'm coming to you almost alive from the Rockers Youth Car Lot in New Delhi, India. And speaking of New Delhi's, look at this car right here. This is a beautiful blue car. It, it, it's hard car. It, thank you. Yes, it, it's a hard car. It's got all of the things that you want in the car, you know. It, it's, got, it's got tires. It keeps you on the road instead of being, being on the street like a bum. Now let, let's look over this one. This is a, a red car. Let, let, the, let the people like the red car. Let the people, the ladies, they put the little red dots on their heads, you know. They can drive it around in this red car. It's a great car. It's not as hard as that one, but it's, it's pretty good. You like, you like to have hard cars because if you don't have hard cars, how, how are you going to hit people with them? Okay, let's go over to this big one over here. This is a big one here. It's got, it's got, it's got the, the hood. It's got, it's got the thing to, you can listen to the radio. And it gets, we got one station in India. And it is not very good. It's not very good. But, but come on down to this Rockers Use Car Lot. You know, you, you, we, you usually say that there's like no song and dance here, but, but we say you can come down and sing and dance because if you don't, if, if you say that here in India, then the Hare Krishnas, they don't come and, and buy the cars, you know. They, you know, we like to have everybody come down. So, so come on down and, and kick a tire or not. Thank you. All right, that was Mr. Patelli with uh, Rockers Use Cars, the franchise over in New Delhi, India. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I guess we got everything together. I'm in my seat. I'm ready to go. I was uh, detained for a little while. I, my thanks to Ed for taking over for me. Thanks for being here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for interviewing my first guest, Franklin Delano Jones. Right. Oh, right. well, how was that? I missed that. Uh, he's a wonderful uh, speaker. Uh huh. Um, made me hungry. Yeah. Um, Did you get something to eat? Yep. Uh, along with a potty break. Good. He came just in time. Good. Those potty breaks are important. Okay, our second guest today is um, the quarterback and a linebacker for the Fort Lauderdale Eskimos of the newly formed East Coast Football League. Let's all welcome with a big round of applause, Mr. Tommy Cooper. <laughs> oh, don't worry, towering in front of <laughs> He just sets up these traps, Tommy. Oh, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. How you been? Well, I can see by your info sheet here that uh, you go um, both ways. Well, that's not really true. I, I just got married for the public image. No, I mean during the game. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, we, we have to because we only have 11 guys on the team. Well, is that because of the limited budget that the league is working in? or? No, no. It's because we only have 11 lockers in our dressing room. Oh. Well, what is um, in, in in the game? What what is your favorite play? Uh, a chorus line. A chorus line. No, I mean I mean in in football. In football. Oh, that's oh that's when I spike the ball after I get sacked. Well, aren't you supposed to spike the ball in the end zone? We haven't scored yet. <laughs> so um, <laughs> where did you uh play college ball? Uh, we didn't go to college. None, none, none of the guys on our team have gone to college. I guess that's because the coach, you know, he doesn't want anybody on the field that's smarter than him. <laughs> well, did the coach go to college? Oh, yeah. He went to college. He went to DeVry, DeVry Institute. I didn't know they had a football program there. They didn't. I told you we, we, we have one that scored a game. Well, well where, did, where did he learn to coach football? I didn't. I mean, I, it's like I told you, we haven't won a game yet. Well, you know football players don't stay in the game very long. Uh, what, now, what do you plan to do when you retire? No, I always thought about that, but, I, you know, I, I, I've always wanted in my whole life to, you know, you know all those JoJo ice cream machines? I like to drive one around. Kind of, I just love that musical bell. It goes up and down, you know, <laughs> up and down the streets. Wonderful, wonderful retirement package. You want to sell ice cream for the rest of your life? Well, I would do something. Yeah. I can't, can't play football forever. Yeah. Good. This is Tommy Cooper of the East Coast Football League, quarterback and linebacker for the Fort Lauderdale Eskimos. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause. Thanks for being with us, Tommy. Thanks for being appreciate it. Okay. Ice cream, sound career. Yeah? Sound good career. Good career move. A good oh. sound career. Yep. Very good. Just wanted to get a camera. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, our next guest is um, one of the uh, wonderful men of uh, the Globe magazine. He's also written for such magazines as the Inquirer and the New York Post. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Omar Santini, who's going to read your horoscope for you. Omar Santini. Hi, Jackie. How you doing, Omar? So what do you got for us today? You have uh, some feelings inside of you that you're going to share with us today? I have some feelings on paper that I'm going to share with you today. Okay, good. I so you have to write it down. Prior, prior, prior to coming well, on. of course, you have to write these down prior to coming onto the stage because they, they just come out of you so fast. And there, are, there are a lot of different horoscopes, too. Uh -huh. We have 12 signs, and uh -huh. today I'm going to do Libra. Uh -huh. And uh, perhaps Scorpio. Okay. Well, let's do. Let's start with the Libra. And everybody, just put on your spiritual caps and let's sit back and. Are listen you a, Are you Libra? No, I'm a Leo. Leo. Okay. Well. Okay. This is for the Libras. This is for Libras. Okay. Um, today you will get up, out of your bed, brush off the small samplings of Ritz cracker crumbs, put on your best polyester suit, and begin to seek the romance you've been hoping would knock on your door. You go downtown to your favorite gathering place, and there they are. The person of your dreams. I wrote that wrong. Mm -hmm. And there she is. There it is. They there, are. there are they, the person of your dreams. So you very smoothly walk over like a praying mantis stalking their prey and say, come to the mall often? And they say, excuse me, I couldn't help noticing how smoothly you walked over here like a praying ma mantis stalking their prey, and they walk away. Uh, dejected and beaten, you go over to the food court and eat fried dough until you black out. Not a good day for Libras, no. <laughs> Not a good day for Libras. Uh, later, a look at Scorpios and what to do when you get a bad clam. Thank you, Omar Santini. <laughs> Read your horoscope. And he's, he's, he wrote that. He wrote that down. Actually, it, it was written for him. I'm sure it was written for him by her. You know, I'm I'm a Scorpio. I can't wait for. Well, I'll well tell you maybe what, I can. You can probably wait, but I'll tell you, Ed, you won't have to wait because very soon we're going to be seeing Omar Santini again with his Scorpio horoscope. That's special. Yeah, it's very special. But right now we're going to go to our musical guest today. So let's take it away over to the musical area. Hey, yo, hey. Listen, Mary, you better get up. She answered back, I am not able. Hey, listen, Mary, you better get up. We need the sheets for the table. <laughs> listen, Mary, you're smoking bed. There's only one thing you should marry. My advice to you would be is to pay attention to me. <laughs> you better marry a fireman, he'll go and come, come and go. Jala! Doc's Bar and Grill, 3000 Southeast Powell, one of the hottest night spots in the world. It's one of the greatest spots to come to. You can come play darts. You can come play pinball. You can come sit in chairs, smoke cigarettes, and drink beer. Come on down to Doc's Bar and Grill. That's 3000 Southeast Powell, 232-8216. That phone number again is 232-8216. Please give us a call at 232-8216 at Doc's Bar and Grill, Southeast Powell on 3000 block, 232-8216 is the, is, is the phone number. Doc's Bar and Grill, come down. You can get lunch or dinner for even a dollar. It'll cost you a dollar to come and eat. You can eat at Doc's Bar and Grill for a dollar. Come on down to Doc's Bar and Grill, the hottest spot in the universe! Hey, we're back. We're back here. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bill Caputo with singing his rendition of Lazy Mary. You better get up. We couldn't get him up, and um, he hasn't been able to... <coughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it this time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay.
Okay, our next guest, her name is Yvonne Caputo, and uh, she is the woman who has more brothers than she knows what to do with. Let's give her a big hand, Yvonne Caputo. Have a seat. Nice to, to meet see you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. So, um, I hear you like to give your brothers a bad time, I understand, this is a fact. Well, they dish it out to me, I gotta dish it back somehow. What did you say? You can't take it. Oh, I can take it. And you can dish it out too. Oh yeah. Well, I noticed you—you you know, you're a little scrawny for 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 somebody who can like give out that much. Crap. It's all about exercise. You got to run a lot, you know, to get away from them. No, where, where do you get your clothes? You know, fashions from anorexia. <laughs> no, they're hand me down to my brothers. Oh, your brothers are that skinny too, huh? Oh boy, you're not making too many friends here in this audience. I can tell you that right now. So, um, there must be men. Yeah, so you like, you like to get, oh, the men. Oh, you want to get into this now, do you? Well, I hear that um, you like to be um, taken care of, huh? We'll take care of you right now. Yep. More brothers than you can know how to shake a stick at, you say, huh? Yep, they're going to take care of you. Well, that was Yvonne Caputo, and she's going to be flushed down the toilet by some of her brothers. So, um... Rod, I hear that. I hear that it's gurgling. Yeah, she's down there. She's down there. Make sure that you use the plunger. We're going to go to the JoJo cam right now, and we'll be back right after this. Okay, JoJo. You're going to shoot some pictures, okay? Okay. Okay, ready? Here we go. Anybody? Okay. Go, go get the go get Papa. You see Papa? You see him? You see his face? Uh huh. He's waiting. Okay, good. Hey, how about over here? Who's that? Adam. Okay, how about over here? Who's that? Okay, walk over into the other room. Oh, look, I'm over here. Who's that? Can't see anybody. Okay, we're back. Thanks to JoJo for that wonderful JoJo cam. She's doing a great job today. Um, right now we're going to have another visit from the horoscope reader himself with a horoscope for Scorpios, Mr. Omar Santini. Can't wait. Uh, this is my horoscope for Scorpios for today. And I oh, I didn't add a Scorpio. That's right, Ed would tell me, well, uh, you better beware of this one, fella. But, uh, oh. no, you other Scorpio. Oh. Take... Oh. 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 Okay, today oh. you will go to a seafood restaurant that will go nameless. Well, let's just call it McCormick and Schmidt. And you will order a plate of breaded razor clams with a side of rice. You eat them and have a large glass of buttermilk for dessert. Later that night, you will become violently ill and feel like you're about to give birth to your rib cage. Of course, what happened is you had a bad clam. You decide to call your lawyer, Mr. Epstein, and ask his advice. And he said he doesn't deal with it, so he refers you to a Mr. Meyer, uh, who uh, said he doesn't deal with lethal shellfish, and uh, connects you uh, with another Mr. Meyer, and, uh, and he says you have nothing, there's nothing you can do. So beaten and dejected, uh, you go to the refrigerator and cook up a nice peanut butter and basil omelet with pumpernickel toast, a glass of clam juice, and a shot of Tabasco. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Omar Santini. Thank you, Omar Santini, with a, um, a horoscope for Scorpio. We interrupt the Jackie Carson show for this special bulletin here. Top Rank Boxing and Don King Enterprises announces the match of the moment. My father and Dodie will be getting married next June. Everyone watching this video is invited. Further details will be forthcoming. Any questions? What's the date? Uh, June 6th. Who's the best man? I'm going to have uh, my two sons, Jared and uh, Aaron, for uh, 
I'm my best man, and Dodie's gonna have a couple of her stupid girlfriends. Man, as in June, though, what if the Blazers make the playoffs? Well, then we'll all watch the Blazers we'll game. We'll watch instead. the Blazers game. Yeah, Wait a minute! The incredible. Yeah, well, that, that completes the horoscope for uh, all 12 signs. So All 12 signs. So that was one. You must have put a lot of work into that. I did. I'm, I'm glad that we could share that with everybody. A lot of, lot of. I have to go now. I'll get you ready for tomorrow. See okay, you, Omar. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Wow, wow, I wish I were a Leo. Oh, I wish Boy. I was a Cancer. <laughs> oh, can you know right. what I'm saying about yep. the Cancer with the whole, mm -hmm. with the whole, um, the, 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 the large carburetor thing that he was mm -hmm. talking about? How you, you know, when you get underneath the carburetor? Exactly. It was great. So, um, that pretty much will wrap up our show for this Thanksgiving Day. And, um... I'd like to thank all my guests for being here. We had Omar sent... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're forgetting the whole, like, Chinese uh, astrological thing. You know, you guys must, like, all be, like, the Earth's pig. Nobody invites us. Talk about John Madden. If Danny can do John Madden, I can do... <laughs> John Madden does the color... John Madden, same, same difference. Guy, they're about same difference. 200 pounds. Oh, all of us. Come on, what? Dave Madden. Come on over here. You're not Dave Madden. I'm not Dave Madden. I'm not Dave Madden. I am Dave Madden. No, you're not Dave Madden. You're not Dave Madden. Oh, you're not Dave Madden. What are you talking about, Dave Madden? Oh, you're not Dave Madden. No, I'm not Dave Madden. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is Jackie Carson, and I'll be yeah, back Dave next year at Thanksgiving. And thank you all for being here. The Omar Santini, the Franklin Delano Jones, and uh, and uh, Sinbad O'Connor for being here. Sign Aid O'Connor, um, and Dave Madden. Thanks to Dave Madden and Ed Bass, and all the people who have joined us here. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We'll see you next year. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, my God.